Hi everybody, doing a kiln opening today. It's Friday, March 12th, 2021. Let's see what we have in the kiln today. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, I see lots of pretty colors already. I'll set you up right there. That looks pretty good. All right, this, let's see, cone pack. Good, we got up to temperature. This piece right here is just kind of like a test wheel for all of my under glazes. So this is what you put on pieces um, under regular glaze. Yeah, and this I just put clear on top so I could see what all the colors look like on this particular clay. So those are nice and bright and shiny. Very good. I have another one on the other clay I'll show you. This is the one I did before on the speckle clay. So you can kind of see the difference. Don't smash them together, Tear. But yeah, okay. All right, and this is a spoon rest I made with, I think Auntie Glow's gonna get this one because I did colors for her that she likes. That's got the little I don't know if you can really see, there you go. The spoon rest part, a little spiral in the middle. Stamp on the back, very cool. All right. All right, we'll get rid of this shell. All right, and here's a spoon rest I made for my kitchen. Yellow and orange. There's the little scoop out. That turned out nice. I like them with the spirals in the middle. It's pretty cool. Stamp on the back. Very nice. Okay, and these are what Rachel's been waiting for. Here is Ducky's bowl. Look, the Ducky name. So we figured out that if we use Celadon glazes, the black will show through, unlike what happened to Murphy's Bowl and Kitty's Bowl. So we've got some light green and dark green going on. There's some, you can see the little crystals down in the bottom here. Those are pretty cool, but the bugs won't be able to climb out, so should be good. Cute little ducky bowl. Alright, and this is Drogon's Bowl. All right, these colors turned out nice. There's his little name. Yeah, little Drogon. The uh, color on the top should have been a little more darker reddish brown, but I think he'll still like it. Some nice color variations inside. Yeah, little Drogon bowl. Cool. All right. Cone pack, that's good. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this shelf without tripping. All right, now down here, I've got stuff that I reglazed from the last time. So let's hope it came out. All right, here's the first mug. Yay, it worked. I don't know if you remember from the last video, I had like a white line between the two glazes. So I just added some more and refired and it looks like it came out perfect. Yay. Now that's a sellable mug. Look at all those lovely crystals in there. Isn't that amazing? And of course my signature tree carving to my little moon. Yes, I am very happy with that. That turned out great. And here's another one that I reglazed. Ooh, look how fancy. That blue came down a little more. You can see where the the white line was, and I added. That's still very nice. Oh, look, we got some drippage there. Oh, how nice. A little variation there. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased. Look at all those crystals in there. Can you see them? Get them in the light. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's awesome. Very happy with that. Yay. All right, 
right, here's the last one we had to reglaze. Well, it looks like I didn't go heavy enough. I have to do it again. Well, I guess two out of three ain't bad. Must not have put it heavy enough. That cranberry's kind of thin, so I probably need to do a couple of coats on there. But still, not bad overall. I'll just do that one again, and you'll see it in the next video. Getting some dripping going on here. That's nice. Cool crystals. Gots to love the crystals. Very cool. All right, so reglaze that one again. What else we got down here? Now, this is supposed to be a napkin holder that I made for my kitchen. And it's got the yellow and orange on the speckled clay, which is very cool. Looks good. However, we got a little bit of warping going on there. So, right there. A little thin, I think, compared to the other side. But still, you can still use it. That just give you room for extra napkins, right? A little sunshine on there and some texture. That yellow on that clay really looks nice. Orange and yellow. Cool. All right, I can use that. And then these are Rachel's bowls that she made eons ago when she finally glazed them. She did it orange, a little sunshine in the middle. She put her initials in there. That turned out good. And then she made one more bowl. Oh, look at that blue. I love that blue. Very nice. There is some sunshine texture in there, too. Some crystallage. Can you see the crystals down in there? Very cool. And she did her name on the bottom on that one, too. Glaze kind of overpowered it a little bit, but that's okay. Cute little bowl. All right. Now what we got left is test tiles that I was working on for the wedding colors. So I got the oatmeal, the yellow, and a blue that I think was probably supposed to turn green. But I'm having trouble with these greens. They're turning out blue. It's very strange. We'll get it right, though, before we do the wedding stuff. All right, this one turned out green. And I did number these, so I'll know which glaze combination I got on what. So actually, I really like this green on here. So we got oatmeal down here on the speckled clay, then the yellow, and then the green. So that one's nice. So number two might be the winner. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Oh, this one's nice. Got a little bit of drip edge with some blue in it, though. She might not want the blue. But still a pretty green. And that's number three. So, we'll see which one she wants to do. Love that speckled clay. I think it's becoming more and more my favorite over the plain clay. Alright, and then I got one more test tile that I did because I'm working on some other mugs and I wanted to see... Oh, look at that. This is a new purple glaze I got called Mulberry. And this is Midnight Blue on top. That is awesome. But the cups I'm going to put it on are actually the plain lighter clay. So they probably won't come out as dark. But still, look at the little crystals, the micro crystals in there. That's so cool. Very nice. Okay. That's it for today. It was a little short load, but it was very promising. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.